All right, welcome. These are the food groups by Mr. Pomeroy for Merton Health Education. Let's just take a look at each one of the food groups here. You can see there's fruits, vegetables, proteins, grains, and dairy. So those are going to be your five major categories um, that we're going to be looking at in depth today. Here you can just take a look at from my choosemyplate.gov, this kind of just gives you an idea of what a healthy plate looks like. It talks about each of the food categories down below, the food groups, um, and it kind of gives you a few tips, but we will be talking about some of those things throughout the rest of this. So here's just a quick look at it. And again, here's just a quick look as to what a plate should be filled with and what a good healthy uh, plate would be filled with. Like I said, we'll kind of get into more details about this stuff here um, as the presentation moves on. But there's the five food groups you're expected to know. And starting off with fruits, and there's an example of some of the fruits. The key thing I want you to remember and you'll need to know is that you're going to have to make half of your plate fruits and vegetables. Something I've picked up on here recently that's very important. Um, just get less calories. Um, as you eat more of those things and you need many of them and there are so many benefits to, to fruits and vegetables. All right, so we'll look at fruits just a little bit more here. Uh, fruit is considered any fruit or 100% fruit juice. Um, it counts as part of the fruit group. Fresh, canned, frozen, dried, whole, cut up, pureed, whatever. All those things are considered fruits. Um, you're going to need to eat one and a half cups of fruit a day. And basically it can be considered as one cup from the fruit group. These different things, uh, one cup of fruit or 100% fruit juice, a half cup of dried fruit. Since it kind of gets a little bit smaller when it's dried, um, that's why that half cup of dried fruit is just a little bit different. Here you can kind of just take a look and see, and this is going to be considered one serving of each one of them. Um, again, just something to kind of get to know here. Moving on, now we're talking about vegetables. Uh, these are some powerful vegetables. You see there's a few fruits in there. Mainly, the, um, obviously the vegetables are what we're looking at here. Um, you know, make half your plate. Again, fruits and vegetables. Just make that a powerful part of your meal. Uh, make it a big part of your meal, and that'll turn you into that healthy eater. All right, a little bit more on vegetables. Here's what you need to know. Any vegetable or 100% vegetable juice counts as the vegetable group. They can be raw, cooked, fresh, frozen, canned, dried, dehydrated, uh, maybe cut up whole or mashed. It doesn't matter. They're all still considered vegetables. Um, kids your age should be eating two cups of vegetables in general. Uh, one cup of raw or cooked vegetables or vegetable juice or two cups of raw leafy greens can be considered one cup from the vegetable group. All right, so you see the two cups of leafy greens. That's just because they're leafier and don't take up as much space. So you'll have to get a little bit more if you're eating a salad um, or just those leafy greens. And again, here's just another idea of what some of, uh, what one cup would kind of look like or what one serving would kind of look like here. Um, just give you a little example. And you guys are going to do a little more in-depth look into this coming up. All right, we're going on to proteins here. Here's your examples of some of your proteins, the dry beans and nuts, fish and seafood, poultry and meat. And again, you want to choose lean or low fat meat or poultry. So you want to stay away from a lot more of the red meats um, and a lot more of the, the fatty types of poultry and that kind of stuff. Um, so you're just looking for lean meat, low fat. All right, a little more on proteins here. You're going to have to eat five ounces of protein-rich foods a day. One ounce of meat, of, that is one ounce of meat or poultry or fish. A quarter cup of cooked beans. Um, one egg. One tablespoon of peanut butter. And a half ounce of nuts or seeds. So all those things are going to give you one ounce of protein. All right, you got to add it up to be a total of five. Just to show you here, like a deck of cards is considered three ounces of cooked lean beef. All right, and continuing on, grains. There's just a few examples from the grain groups. The key thing that you will need to know, make half your grains 
whole grains. Some of the best grains for you are the whole grains. Um, powerful food. Um, make sure you have half of them as whole grains. All right, looking a little more in depth into grains. Again, you should be eating about five ounces of grains a day. Um, all these different things can be considered one ounce from the grains group. So a slice of bread, a cup of ready-to-eat cereal, half cup of rice, pasta, or cooked cereal. All right, again, just a few examples of, um, of what one ounce could be. All right, good things just to kind of remember, good visuals so you can see those grains. Moving on to dairy. All right, these are just some examples of things that are in dairy group. Again, you want to switch to fat-free or low-fat and 1% dairy. That is a key. Definitely need to know that. Go fat-free. Go low-fat. It's going to help cut down on all the saturated fats that are located in, that are found in dairy products. So dairy, again, you're going to need about three cups of dairy a day. These things kind of count as one cup. A cup of milk, yogurt, or soy milk. One and a half ounces of natural cheese. Two ounces of two ounces of processed cheese. And again, about four dice sizes would kind of be considered um, one of your cups. All right, we need to know the truth about oils. Right? Oils is kind of on the food pyramid and off. I'm adding it to this just so you kind of have an idea of um, maybe how to cook and some healthier ways to cook. All right. Um, you need to get fats in your system, all right? Most of your fats you should eat should be polyunsaturated or monounsaturated fats. All right? Oils are the major source of these fats that you need, all right? And they do contain fatty acids that are necessary for health, called essential fatty acids. So you want monounsaturated, you want polyunsaturated, you can get them from oils. Oils is a great way to cook, great way to kind of add to to some of your different foods. Um, you want to stay away from solid fats because they usually have more saturated fats and trans fats and those are your bad fats. So you don't want to cook as much with butter. You know, you don't want to cook as much with Crisco. Those kind of things. So stay away from the solid fats. Move towards the oils um, and that's going to help you become again a much healthier eater. All right, let's take a look at Choose My Plate. These are just great tips to be a healthy eater. I um, just want you to kind of take a second. These are most of the things that we've kind of talked about. But again, fruits, focus on your fruits. Eat a variety, fresh, frozen, canned. Um, try to stay away from the fruit juices. Juices, Vegetables, vary your vegetables, all right? The more dark green you get, the better you can get. Orange, dry beans and peas, all those things are real good for you. Um, oils, again, it talks about knowing your fats. Make most of your fat sources from fish, nuts, and vegetable oils. Limit the solid fats like butter, stick margarine, shortening, lard, milk. You need to get your calcium-rich foods. Go low-fat or fat-free. Um, if you don't consume or you can't consume milk, make sure you're choosing those lactose-free products um, or other calcium sources. Grains, make at least half your whole grain at least half of your grains whole um, get three ounces of that bread cereal rice pasta every day and look for the word whole in the list of ingredients for the whole grains very very important meat and beans go lean on protein low fat lean meats and poultry bake it broil it or grill it um, that's just a nice healthy way to kind of eat it vary your choices with more fish beans peas nuts and seeds all right, great tips to be a healthy eater right there. All right, let's look at a healthy plate. A good visual of what a healthy plate looks like right here. Again, you've got half your plate filled with fruits and vegetables. You've got some dark greens. You've got lots of different colors on there. Um, you've got a quarter of your plate filled with protein there. It's lean protein. You can see it was kind of grilled by the grill marks. And then you've got a quarter of your plate that starch, those grains, looking for those to be holes. All right, you want to have a nine inch plate for teen and adults. And again, trying to fill up kind of that much space. If you look on the right hand side, um, you know, you can kind of use your hand to measure things. So it's talking about your palm of the hand, which is the amount of lean meat. A fist is the amount of cooked rice, 
cooked pasta or cereal. A thumb is your cheese that you should be eating. A thumb tip is about how much salad dressing you should be getting. Um, you can kind of see, give children on the, on the left hand side here, give children a small plate um, and you kind of want to split the plate into three parts with the largest amount being fruits and vegetables. You've got your milk and you've got your water because both of those things are really important for kids. All right, there's our healthy plate. Last one here, just take a look at a daily my plate. Check out, check out this great healthy eating plan. Um, you can see it right here. Breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. You want to get those snacks in there so again you can add up all your food categories. Uh, snacks again are important to keep you powered up between those meals. Um, eating small but really nutritious snacks are so important. So you can just kind of see trying to find fruits early in the day and kind of loading them up. Your vegetables, they've got a more scheduled later in the day. Again, uh, three different meals, they'll contain vegetables. You're getting grains in each of your breakfast, lunches, and dinners, proteins in breakfast, lunches, and dinners. Dairy, you gotta find a couple, couple different times to eat that. Um, so you can just see it's kind of spaced throughout the day, but you've gotta look for it multiple times throughout the day, each category, to total up to everything that you need. All right, that's a great plate, something great to learn from. Um, these are the food groups, important stuff for us to get ready for next class. Um, thanks for listening. All right, bye.